Hi guys, my name is Kiara Luck and I am with All Hip Hop. It's so great to see you guys. Great to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, so my first question, um, Alex, let's start with you. Um, this series incorporates so many influences from East, West, everywhere, and so many cultures. Uh, talk about how the fusion of, of everybody, um, I think it's easier to say, enhances the storytelling and resonates with the global audience. Yeah, it's, uh, it is incredible in that way and, and is probably the most like, uh, I mean, in that direction than anything I've ever worked on in terms of it being so global. And I guess, um, you know, the themes of, of the books are, one of the main themes is, is sort of looking at humanity as a singular organism and how it, how it responds to an existential threat like this. Um, and that's, that's reflected uh, in, in the television show in, in a really, really beautiful and interesting way and was for sure one of, one of the most appealing things about signing on to this. Now, question for you, John. Um, you've been part of other series um, that you know kind of explore science fiction. Talk about how this genre, I feel like, in the last few years has just blown up um, very much in respect to you know seeing the Game of Thrones and you know just different things going on. Uh, why does this project or why does science fiction kind of resonate with you, and how has it been uh, getting into this character? It feels like um, it feels like the science fiction and fantasy has, has sort of reached a level of maturity now, where it's really come into the mainstream. Like people don't say something like Dune, for example. People wouldn't say, "Oh, that's a great yeah. sci-fi movie." They'd say, "That's a great movie," mm. and they're yeah. they're being seen as really credible and legitimate cinema now, whereas in the past they was kind of seen as as a niche thing. And I think mm. that, I think there's something about. Um, I honestly think it's the same reason why Shakespeare is still so popular, because if if you're going through things in your life and as a society right now, you like to see other people in a world that's removed from yours going through the same thing, because it makes you feel sort of less alone in it. It, make, it makes them feel like universal things. And mm. if you see other people overcoming these um, um, difficulties in the future or on different planets or in different times it kind of gives you confidence that you can overcome them as well mm. there's something about the universality of a lot of those themes that I think reassures people um, for Jess this question I want to talk a little bit about how this series just kind of spans across generations how mm. one person can impact so much uh, talk a little bit about um, just like almost like the butterfly effect. I mentioned it to Rosalind and she kind of like really loved it. So <laughs> talk about how one thing, one thing so small can impact, well not small, but you know, one thing can oh, just yeah. expand across generations. I'm reminded of a scene in Everything Everywhere all at once with the hot dog fingers and how it was like the monkey, the apes fighting. Yeah, and yeah. it was the hot dog finger apes that managed to be the winners on top. And that's how the hot dog world, finger world came to be. <laughs> <laughs> This makes me think of that because literally that one decision um, from those that, those that past story arc changed an entire future for humanity. Whereas, you know, if she just made the other, other decision, maybe it would just be like life as it is here for us now. Oh dear, is this, is this you? Okay. Good answer as well. It's a shame. Should we start it? Don't know I what I said. Cut to 